heat could be an issue for fans and student athletes as the 2021 high school football season kicked off today. High school teams are starting their seasons tonight or tomorrow and TV 5's Rachel McCrary joins us live from Atwood Stadium in Flint with more on what players and coaches are doing to protect themselves in this heat. Hi Rachel. Yeah, we're here at Atwood Stadium in Flint where Goodridge and Brittany Moves are having their very first game of Friday Day in life. I talked to coaches who tell me so far this first game has been a scorcher. It's, uh, it's always smoking hot in August. Uh, you know, you just have some days are hotter than others. Tom Allward is the head football coach at Goodrich High School. While hot temperatures are nothing new in the beginning of the season, he says they're keeping a close eye on the weather and the players. Well, we're trying to mitigate as best we can with uh, several water breaks, uh, uh, keeping them out of sun, keeping a good look at kids, uh, trying to be aware of any signs that uh, somebody might be having some issues. With temps feeling like it's over 90 degrees, Allward says they're closely monitoring the temperature. If it gets to be in the, in the uh, uh, dangerous zone, uh, I would imagine that you know we wouldn't practice, and uh, um, I would imagine they'll do the same thing at our game today. According to Allward, whether or not they cancel a game or practice depends on a variation of things related to the humidity and the temperature. It depends on a lot of things, and, they, and our trainer, our athletic trainers, just as I'm sure the people down at Atwood, uh, they have that chart that's been issued by the uh, health department that they'll follow. Elward admits it's not always easy for players to compete in such steamy conditions, but says his players are excited and he's still expecting a great first game. Well, it, it, it certainly impacts everybody, uh, uh, but uh, when they get motivated, uh, you know, they, they do what they have to do. And it's halftime right now. So far, both teams are tied. Ladies and, and gentlemen, Goodrich Dance Goodrich Team Area just is proud finished up a great rendition of the Miss, but it's absolutely amazing that they can School, still play like this Martian, when temperatures are this hot. In Flip, Rachel McCreary, WNEM, TV5. Okay, enjoy that marching band. Thank you, Rachel. Friday Night Lights returns to TV5. TV5's sports director, Scott Johnson, and Jason Fielder will be bringing you the highlights from several football games tonight on TV5 News at 11.